play, Julie. And this is something that they need in the Pacific Northwest. I know rain total accumulations don't look very impressive, but boy, this is what they need. And you can see just over an inch of rain in San Francisco, as well as Napa, almost an inch in Redding. And again, this is nothing compared to what they're going to be seeing in the next two days. Let's check out the rain forecast for this area. An additional three inches will be possible anywhere from Sacramento all the way up to Redding, especially in the Sierra. We will see plenty of snow up to Portland, anywhere between two to three inches of rain until Sunday. And then check out what's going to happen. As we go further into the next 48 hours, snow continues to fall from the Pacific Northwest. We are expecting snow stretching all the way to the east into the Rockies. Again, the Sierra California seeing about 12 inches, something they just need for this time of year, but it's not going to put a dent in the drop for them. Dan? Once again. That's right. Good morning, Dan, and good morning, America. Let's talk about what's going on from coast to coast. We were in the west coast earlier. Now we're going to take a look at a storm system headed to the east coast. I know something you don't want to hear across the northeast and the Midwest. You've been dealing with nothing but snow this whole winter, and unfortunately, we're going to see another round of it. Not nearly as strong as the system as what we've dealt with for the last couple systems that have moved through the northeast, but we are expecting several inches of snow to occur over the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, and it'll start to move into Chicago by tonight into tomorrow and then head towards the northeast going into late Sunday night and Monday morning. We have snow totals anywhere between one to three inches forecasted along New York. Once we get rid of the snow, it's going to be the cold. This is a one-two punch system. We'll deal with the snow and then it will be downright chilly. Something again, our friends in Chicago, Detroit are used to, but even Dallas dropping temperatures down to the 30s by Monday. That's a look at the national forecast. Now let's take a look at the forecast outside your front door. More snow, huh? Yes, more snow. No, uh, no, no. Gotta get no. my car out. Yeah, it's really <laughs> fucking <laughs> Julie, thanks to have yeah. you yeah. Yeah. nonetheless. Great yeah. to have you nonetheless, and we'll have more from you coming up on the Saturday morning. But coming up soon, Woody out. Look at the national forecast. Good morning once again. That's right. Good morning, Dan. In South Florida, it's going to be beautiful this morning. I want to take you to a live shot of Key West. Uh, after soaring today to the lower 80s, even though there is a front that is going to move in, we are expecting just that slight chance of showers in the forecast. Overall, the forecast for them, warm, humid, and that chance of showers will be moving into the area later on today. The big concern is what's going on across the northern portions of the state. As you can see, rain will continue to fall. Temperatures sitting along the 50s and 60s into the Panhandle and into the southeast. Now let's move back to the west, where we have seen a major rainmaker and snowmaker, something they've definitely needed occurring. This system will continue to to produce amounts of showers and storms across portions of California into the Rockies. A locally heavy rain possible, which is going to be a big concern on the roadways. Let's show you what's going on with the temperatures from coast to coast. We've got the 70s in Phoenix, 60s in New Orleans, the 30s up by Washington, D.C., and sitting warm and pretty in South Florida. That's a look at the forecast from coast to coast. Let's take a look at the forecast outside your front door. Report has been brought to you by Petco. Great. I can't believe you're still being nice to us, going over <laughs> uh, with how beautiful the weather in Florida is if we, we drag you, you up here. Up here. I love oh, it here. Sorry. It's oh. a family. We're all family. We're all family. We're having fun. Right. Well said. Coming up here on GMA from.